I wish I had all my childhood memories, but unfortunately I don't. And honestly, that's probably not a bad thing. Although I would like to remember more of the good stuff. One thing most people don't know about me is I wrote my first book series at age four. When I was four years old, my grandfather and my grandmother and I were at the house and they had um, helped me to get it published. So I drew out the pictures, I created the story. I already knew how to write, although it was kind of difficult because I still remembered hieroglyphics from before. So coming into this earth and this body and starting over, and no, I'm not crazy, no, I'm not delusional, no, I'm not psychotic, no, I'm not so high that I'm out of my mind. I'm telling you the truth of what I remember. <laughs> so, knowing that I remembered hieroglyphics and so forth from being small, it was an interesting change when I started writing in English magic. Because that's what the English language is. It's a hodgepodge of magic spells. Most people just don't know this. See, but if you think about it, it makes sense because who does this world belong to, right? So, I was four years old when I wrote my first series, and it was about me and my dog and our adventures that were to come and have arrived. And I had a dog, and everybody at the time teased me, and nobody understood why I chose the name, but the name of my dog was Chiron. Now, people, they would say, why did you name your dog Chiron? Like, it's of Eritrea. Retrian origin, and it means restored by God. God, yes. Now, dog spelled backwards is what? God. So it's kind of a reminder. Now, I am not saying that I am God because I am certainly not. Although there are people out there who like to say they are God's lords and so forth, but um, I can't call myself the creator of the world. I'm not God. <laughs> Am I the creator of my environment through the actions I take and by the thoughts I have that trigger me to move forth in life? Sure, sure. So, I mean, I, I, in the regards of having free will, but still having um, the Holy Spirit. So I know I was bought at a price. See, and I also remember the original covenant. So I know that his blood covers all. So, you know, I was talking to a few people today and yesterday about my books and I'm thinking of getting them back from my grandfather's house. I would love to read them and see the pictures because really I don't remember the whole thing. But one thing I do know, history repeats itself. History repeats itself. I came into this world, JC. My last name is changed since then. But I still remember the original me and the original covenant. So I just wanted to say that in the book of Revelations, the horsemen in the apocalypse, end times, you know, just things to think about you guys things to think about get your lives in order and get your soul house right that's my recommendation get your soul house right and your family help your family be compassionate and kind to one another because these are the last days you guys it they are like now which one who knows only god knows when exactly but being that we don't know when our last moment is we want to be helpful to those around us. You want to show compassion to people, even your enemies that you don't like, show compassion. By you showing compassion to your enemies, you know what, your enemies may do the same, show compassion to you. You never know, but no matter what, it's just the right thing to do. And that's what I'm striving to do, is just be a better me, an improved version of me, a higher version of self, past the ego, 
past all the training, programming, and just get to the higher self, that original you. Like when you came into this world, who were you? Ain't you you?